super excited to be here and to meet you all. Um, my name is and I am a PhD student at the MIT Media Lab here. And um, I'm really in love with paper craft, but I also love uh, engineering, specifically building circuits and programming. And I'm excited to put them together through paper circuits. And I hear that's what you guys have been up to today. So excited to hear about what you guys have been up to and maybe share some things too. Okay. <laughs> copper tape is made out of copper metal, so that will conduct electricity, but then it's got a sticky part to hold it in place. And a lot of copper tapes, um, the sticky part, the adhesive doesn't conduct electricity. Mm. So sometimes if you want to connect multiple pieces of copper tape together, that they, they don't actually connect electrically, so they don't conduct electricity. Um, other, I've also found sometimes that if you fold your copper tape a bunch of times, it'll crack, and that crack also causes a separation that um, creates a break in your circuit. Cool. If, um, so if we, well, I realized yesterday after they left that we have some circuit scribe pins. If we had used those, uh -huh. would we have had less errors in our uh, connections, do you think? Um, I think I, I think that could definitely help. So those are really these. So circuit scribe pens are these really awesome ink pens. They're like jelly roll pens that we normally use, but their ink is made out of silver, and silver is also a metal that conducts electricity. And so um, if you draw a really a nice thick line, that will also work um, as as a conductor for your circuit. So definitely um, worth trying too. Okay. So what simple circuits or what simple design do you recommend for me? Uh, well, nice to meet you, Rachel. Um, Thank you. <laughs> I guess uh, a very simple thing is starting out with one one light to turn on and, and like um, a simple circuit where you have your battery, you have one piece of copper tape going to one side of the LED and another tape um, going to the other side of the LED and back to the battery. So that's the most simple circuit. And even with that, you can do a lot. Like you can decorate your light, you can play with what the lines look like in your circuit and make it really decorative. Um, something else fun I found is that if you don't clip your battery in place, the little flap that you use to make the battery holder, it can become a switch so that when you when you press on it, the light comes on. When you don't press on it, the light doesn't come on. So you can use that to make circuit interactive because it's already there. Um, so those, those are some things I try and start out with. That's a great question. Closer. Um, can you tell us about about designing for little bits? Because we we played a little bit with little bits today, just to also help them thinking um, about electronics. Yeah, early on when I was in college, actually, I. Um, worked with little bits um, and I helped that's actually where I learned to solder so soldering is where you essentially melt metal to make electrical connections that are super strong and super robust but that was that was so early on okay. when I was um, in undergrad I was actually studying mechanical engineering so here's a little bit of my story I was studying mechanical engineering because mechanical engineers got to build stuff and access the machine shop and so while I was there, um, all along, um, on the one hand, I was in love with engineering, but on the other hand, I loved to like make stuff and create art. And I loved art museums and all this stuff. And when I found out about this artist named Aya Badir, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I want to learn everything about her. I want to work with her. Um, and Aya is actually the creator of Little Bits. And so she was an artist fellow. Um, and I became her intern, and um, she actually exposed me to electronics. And I was like, hey, this is really hard. Oh my God. And I spent about a month like just destroying everything. I felt so bad, but she believed in me. Um, and, you know, I kept it going. And then I eventually started to um, understand, you know, how to connect different circuit pieces up. And, and that's kind of one. Um, avenue for me to get into electronics, but also seeing her um, vision that um, electronics can be used as a material, that got me really excited, um, thinking about, you know, how can we use um, electronics as an artistic medium? Um, and then a little bit after um, was when, you know, started thinking about crafting with electronics, but that's kind of how I started. And, um, you know, I, I still think they're going to be awesome. So the girls are going to be making their own, like, wearable art bracelets. This is, like, my example uh, after Van Gogh's Starry Night. 
Uh, mm -hmm. And that's that's what they're kind of asking is how you come up with all your designs for for in, integrating electronics, like the way you did the dandelion uh, card where you blew on it and the the lights flickered. They want to know they want to know how you kind of come up with those ideas because I don't mind them like taking my idea, but they want to have their own idea. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Um, ideas come from all sorts of places. Sometimes I see something like like what you're describing, where you're just like, that is so cool. I want to, you know, make my own version. So sometimes it comes from that. The dandelion story, that's actually a really cool story. So the dandelion painting actually came out of a series of workshops that I did. And, and this is why I love to teach, like you guys. Because, you know, when instead of just one person making stuff, it's everyone from different backgrounds making stuff. Um, you see all sorts of new ideas come up. And this particular idea came from, I was doing a workshop with some uh, graduate science, uh, graduate students, some science students, and one of them, um, uh, her name was Jessie, and she was studying biology and plants. And so all the projects that she had made, been making um, had to do with plants. Um, and when we were working on sensors, so that was the, the, the we, this was like a walk long course. Um, when we were working on sensors, we were um, playing with microphones, which detect sound or wind. Um, and she immediately was like, okay, what plant responds to sound or wind? And immediately it was dandelions. And so she made this really cute poster. Um, uh, she and her partner that created this cute poster where when you blow on the one dandelion flower, the seeds kind of spread. And so we actually worked together on that one to, um, make that happen and then from that became came the way more complicated dandelion field because i was like oh my gosh this is such a cool interaction um and then i really was interested in um, you know chinese ink painting so i made it in that form i think personally i just really liked the being able to solve puzzles um and build cool things and i don't know whether you know, being female has to do with that or not. But um, I do, I do, I, I did actually start out doing something different. I actually started out um, uh, wanting to be a doctor. I was pre-med, uh, but, and, and I love biology still, but I realized that I love building stuff so much, like on my own time, even after classes, um, I would just make little paper sculptures and flowers, and, and no matter how hard I studied all this other stuff, I just always still enjoyed doing that so much that I wanted then to formally make, and that's where engineering came in. Um, it allowed me, in the same way that when I'm working with paper circuitry, I'm still creating crafts, but adding that extra kind of layer of the circuitry and the programming made the stuff that I already create like even better. And so that's kind of how the engineering as making a bigger toolkit um, kind of became a motivation for me. Um, I hired them to, to start, uh, especially with your design ideas. So thank you to thank you for your time today. Cool. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Um, and it's nice to meet you all. And I hope you guys have fun I'll making say, more stuff. Y'all say thank you. Thank, thank you. you.